Hello my friends and welcome back for the second episode of our rune campaign in DCI The Last Alliance. Now I will admit, it has actually been a while since I recorded episode 1. I only uploaded it yesterday, which I'm not sure when yesterday will be regarding when this video is uploaded, but I only just uploaded it, but I did record it more than a week ago because I had some extra time. I was like, you know, I really want to do an extra DCI campaign, but I wasn't quite sure if people would like to watch it. So I was a little bit hesitant at uploading it first, but then I was like, you know, what have I got to lose? And if people don't like it, then they don't like it. But I'm very happy to say that the first episode actually got a great response, uh, lots of comments, lots of likes, and even though I don't ask, them, uh, I don't often ask for it, do know that those likes and those comments and you know it all helps me out. It gives me more noticeability on YouTube, but it also gives me a good metric of to see what people like and what people want to see more of. So thank you all very much for the support on the first video. Now, with that said, it might take me a little bit just to get my bearings back. I know I had to kick out the dwarves out of Roman because they crushed one of my generals there. I think it was Uldor that got crushed. He survived, but he needs to uh, annex his vengeance. I'd love to run in there, but we're mainly with cavalry, so I don't think a siege battle would do very well for us. So we're just going to siege them out. Now, the dwarves only have a couple of territories in this area. I think they only have the Iron Hills at the moment. They might take the rebel land down south. I'll go check with Nurgle, um, but they'll only have like one or two settlements at most. The rest of the settlements are either at Luwin or at Hithaigler, the Misty Mountain. So we don't have too much to worry about, and if we can take the Iron Hills, that would put us at a very advantageous position. I don't think Erebor is a... hmm, they might actually have Erebor as well. Or is that in the hands of Rovania? I don't quite know. I mean, logically, it would be in the hands of the Dwarves. But when I arrived here at my Lothlorien campaign, I'm pretty sure it was in the hands of... Dale? Or of Rune, even? I can't remember. My memory is really shoddy. Uh, we're building in all the places. Hey, is that Ulfric Stormcloak? I think it is. Okay. For all you Skyrim players, you'll probably recognize him. Can I get some extra units? Because Lord knows we need them. Can get some poopy units there. Or I think slightly better ones. Rune Experiment 413 compared to these guys. 37. Yeah, that's quite a big difference. So let's get some of them. A little bit concerned about Rovanian. We have killed their king for the gun, but no doubt they will retaliate. So let's go scout a little bit. I don't know how big their territory is at the moment. We'll go check in just a bit. Alright, with all that done and dusted, I do believe I'll see you all back on turn number 11. Okay, and the dwarves are actually sending out a retaliation force to try and knock me back. Vali, well, oh my god, he actually has a decent army. Hmm... That's annoying. <laughs> that is incredibly annoying. We do have good cavalry, so... And there's a very loud motorcycle passing by. So I don't think we'd be absolutely hopeless, but these guys are very high defense. And add to that, man, why do you need a motorcycle that loud? Isn't that just to annoy other people? Come on, man. And Jamar is also in that with his Dwarven Noma, so I think it's just the combination of both these armies is too much for us. So if I withdraw, I hope they'll still attack me, but just... Yes, just the one army. We should be able to beat that. Okay. I did get a lot of feedback concerning the last battle against the Dwarves, and a lot of people saying that I should give my horses more room to get some momentum. So let's give us uh, a second chance and see if we can beat these guys. So Longbeard Axemen, 15 defense, 8 attack, Iron Hills Veterans, 6 attack. Okay, so it's a little bit easier to take down, and then the Khazad Spearmen, they're going to be a pain. We mostly want the Archers to focus on them, but they also have, like, big shields, so... They're going to be a real bitch to take down. Alright, anyway, let us try. Let's save first, just in case something goes wrong, and I'll see you all on the battlefield. Alright, we are actually blessed with a nice advantageous hill. So we're going to use our Hyrhoon Guardians. They're going to be the bulk of it. Hold. I think I can put my spears already in front of them, seeing as they can fire just over us. Alright lads, I'm a little bit scared to be honest. For some reason these dwarves are just intimidating. Long bit axe. I mean the flanks don't seem that strong, and if we can kill the general early on, that would also help out massively. And having an extra bodyguard unit is quite nice. Let's see if we can get on the side there. Alright. Ah oh, just fight on those spears, please. Oh crap, that wasn't my intention. It's alright, it's just a general. It's not too bad. I didn't even lose anyone there. Let's see if we can do a charge right on the general himself. Careful for the spears. That was a good charge. Right on target. Nice sandwich maneuver. 
Will it be enough? Probably not. We've already lost quite a few of our rune riders. Then again, they have taken a beating. I actually lost a fair bit of troops in that charge. So make sure everyone pulls back. Pull back. Alright, he's sitting in his long beard action first. Good. Divide and conquer. I know I shouldn't compare both games, and I'm not comparing the games, I'm just saying Divide et Impera. That's how you win. If they stand alone, they will die a whole lot easier. Come on. Hyrun Guardians, we need you! Sound the horn! Sound the charge! You need to be quicker than that. Shall we do a Vanguard? No, we'll save that. The Longbeard Axemen are not like the scariest unit in that army. Just lure them in one by one. As long as our infantry... Oh, look at that guy. He went flying very high. Yes. The morale is not as high as it is in, in DAC. In DAC, you'll be very hard-pressed to get dwarfs to rout. In this game, they do seem to give up a little bit sooner. God bless. Alright. The Iron Hills veterans would actually be a pretty fine target to charge. They don't have the highest defense. Right, let's take a look at that charge. Full frontal attack with all the momentum we could ask for. Nice. Alright. Pull back. Second charge is inbound. Pull out of there. That's going to be very effective. Because they're still standing still. Yeah, there we go. Yes. I got a lot of feedback on that one battle against the dwarves, and I always said, don't worry, we'll be back. I'll make it up to it, you know. Just need to get the hang of it. And I think I'm doing that right now. It does help that I've played a lot of Rohan also. My cavalry micro is a little bit better. That's not a good charge. Give him some more room. Alright, that's going to be a good charge. That's full frontal. Right on the general as well. And then the spears are going in against my Eastern Trison, which is exactly what I want. Alright, pull out. Pull out game strong. Okay. Rune Riders, if you can already get in position to deal with those spears, that would be awesome. 19 left. Shall we do a calf sandwich? I believe we shall. Alright, archers, get ready to stop firing, because you're only going to hit friendlies. Calf sandwich over there. Might as well do the uh, throat singing. There we go. Tell you what, if this video gets 1 million likes, I'll do a live recording of me throat singing as well. <laughs> Maybe. Now watch this video get like 1 million likes and I'm like bound by honor. Good charge! Nice, nice, nice. A little bit more lackluster on this front, but at least we're killing them. Alright, Rune Riders, pull back. Those spears will eat you alive if you stay in combat. They absolutely will. Full sandwich. Alright, if we can crush them with minimal losses, as we are doing, we can still besiege the settlement and lay some more pressure on those other dwarves. And if he wants to send in general after general, he will run out on this side at least. We're not going to regicide him, because he has a family tree all the way across Middle-earth. I think his generals, or his um, faction leader and all that jazz, they're at the Iron Hills. I'm um, no, sorry, the Blue Mountains. Edit Luin. Not Ered Mithrin, sometimes mix up the names. So we're not going to get a regicide anytime soon, but they will run out of generals in this area. And once you have no generals there, you'll also not get adoptions and all that shit and coming of age in that area either. So if they run out of generals on this side of the map, they'll probably run out of generals for a very long time for us. We won't face any others. And seeing as this isn't divide and conquer and dwarves actually rout as well, that is very advantageous. There we go, talking about that. Alright, give him a good old charge. Three left of the nobleman. They lost 25%, but that's mainly spears and rune riders, so it's not too big of a deal. Just the Hydon Guardians alone can do tons and tons of damage. Just make sure the general doesn't die. Because that would be a shame. Oh, he actually has multiple charges as well. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not running. Imagine that. A dwarven general running. That's unheard of in the Vidon Conquer. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't compare the two games, but... It just kind of happens naturally, you know, both are mods from Medieval 2, both take place in the world of the Lord of the Rings. So, it just kind of happens. Alright, there we go. Vali has fallen. Do we care about anyone else? No, we're at 96% with the general dead. A heroic victory! Alright, so the Hydon Guardians 
under Uldor killed 85, look at that. Everyone else just kind of doing the bare minimum. Tribesmen, well, all they had to do was hold the line and did that excellently, so... Can't really complain. Rune Riders healed quite a bit, so that's pretty good. Alright, I'll see you all back on the campaign map. Alright, I don't even need to think twice about this. Executed! With no impunity. These dwarves are surprisingly fast, though, because they've been marching in my lands at a very high speed. Normally dwarves are, like, a fair bit slower than men and elves. But these guys... They're holding ass. Alright, let's just besiege them again. <laughs> Sucks that it'll take a little bit longer. But they're losing more and more men, so, you know. Alright. I should probably actually follow the road just to see what else is coming our way. He's sitting over there. Oh, that's actually a big army. Because that sword's been knocked out raiders. Because that arch is in a ballista. Like, how far can he move? Hmm, pretty far. Alright, let's get some reinforcements then, up north. I kind of need reinforcements on both sides. Alright. Go up there. I'll take you a while. You, Khan Infantry, you do excellent at Roman. I'm just a little bit worried about Rovanian. Alright, get in there for Kamboska. As this guy might try and take it. Gaffard house cars, they look scary. Oh, bother. Oh crap, that's a big army. Um, Alright, let's move you north. I don't need a watchtower here. We need extra units badly. Unit equipment complete. Yeah, that's the Spearman and Mistrand. We're already sending them over. I need more troops very, very badly. Rod? Why would you come all the way to Kant? I can get a port here? What? Oh, on the river. I guess. This is very mysterious. I quite like the battle map. Oh, yeah, the campaign map here down south. It's quite a bit different from, um, the Bank even of an elephant there. Do they have elephants on the strategy map in the Viking Conquer? I don't think they do. A port sounds really good. In Khan. Wait, what? Oh, that was the wrong building browser. It was like, why can't I build a port in Khan? That makes no sense. Alright, I do have a couple units in Garda, which I'd rather send over. They're currently not doing anything. I'm all over the place today. Um. Hmm. Gosh, what do I spend my hard earned cash on? Perhaps I should get more units, but I'm also kind of low on cash. Let's get some tribes in over here, just so we have a garrison. But what tribes when they're a javelin that might actually be very useful against the dwarves. Yeah, we'll get one of them, and then spend the rest of it on money buildings. Um, farms, bazaar might actually be pretty good. Let's invest in some trade. Who do we trade with anyway? Do we trade with Mordor already? Yes. We should probably get a trade alliance with like Harad. That would bring in a lot of cash. Um, Can I get a diplomat somewhere? I can get one over here. Do I already have a diplomat? Do I? I do not. Alright, let's get one then. Mr. Spy, yeah, you keep an eye over there. Bloody dwarves! <laughs> I don't know if I should attack Roman. I just can't even check how many units they have still. If it's just a dwarf, I would go for it, but maybe with the reinforcements coming in then. Alright, I do believe that's all for this turn, and I'll see you all back on turn number 12. Alright, so they went to Dr. Harad. Good, I was already planning on doing that, but at least I know which direction to walk to now. Uh, somewhere over there, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, Ravanian is being a little bit aggressive. They're just sending over small stacks, but it does work in our favor. Makes it easier for us to take him down. 922, ooh. Plus bonus against cavalry. But I have horse archers, right? Yeah, both hands has horse archers, so. We'll do decent against them. Uh, it's just that Ravanian seems to have a lot more units than we do, because we're also a little bit preoccupied with the dwarves. Like, if we would send in this guy, that would be actually pretty scary. So we'll take care of that guy in just a little bit. We need to keep an eye out on that dwarven captain. We need to know where he's at, because I want to take the settlement before he arrives. Need to get those reinforcements in there quickly. And I mean quickly. Whole ass, please. Alright. Order has been restored a little bit in Aini. Kamboska got the farms. Can I get some units here? No, I can get a spy, but that's not really urgent there. Khan got the public house. Why would I get a public house? Why did I get that? Is there any specific reason that I got that there? It seems kind of a waste. 
I think these regions down south would actually become more of my economic buildings, whilst I should focus Mistrand, for example, um, to be more of a military. Although it's not a castle, so. Hmm. Yeah, you'll still take a little bit to get that. Oh, what? What? Where, where? We got ambushed by rebels? Not look at the cunning. Well, I can see why. What? Spiders? I think they might crash my game, to be honest. Didn't I disable them? Oh, God. Um, what does this guy have? More spiders. 7826. There's no way I can beat them, I don't think. I'm not sure why the bounce power is like, eh, could go either way. I mean, sure, I guess we'll fight them just to see what spiders look like, but it's gonna be an absolute slaughter. Oh man, why would you put spiders there? Yeah, no doubt. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, game crashed. So, unfortunately I can't do spiders, so I guess I'll have to disable them again. So I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so unfortunately spiders crashed the game, I'll have to disable them. For now I'll just do auto-resolve. Clear the feed, yeah. Uh, I think it's Alt X. No, that's secret. No, what's Alt F1? No, I just made a screenshot. God damn it! Alt one, Alt F2. What is it? Oh, it's Control Alt F1, isn't it? Oh, I'm just opening all these kind of. I'm doing because those are my shadow play commands. What was it again? Was it Alt C? No, that's shadow play as well. How do I disable spiders again? <laughs> Where are my hotkeys? Oh, I wish it could mention like anywhere, please. They should include it somewhere over here because I, I can't remember. I thought it was Control Alt F1. Control Alt 1? Control Shift 1. Control Shift F1. No, Shift Alt F1. I'm just taking screenshots. Mm, not quite sure. Well, I mean, if it happens again, I'll just auto win it then for now until I find a way to disable it. We won't run into any trolls or ants anytime soon, I don't imagine, so we should be okay for at least a little bit. Alright, let's fight an army that doesn't crash our game, however. Captain Wulfila. What do you have? Ma ah, that's an annoying unit. Harjis Swordsman. And Gaffard House Guard. That unit seems really strong. But I don't think he can retrain a lot of them just yet, so I think once they're dead, we won't see them anytime again. Just like the cavalry fought in the last episode. Anyway, I'll see you all on the campaign map, or on the battlefield, excuse me, when we take down Captain Wolfila. Alright. <laughs> Perhaps for the sake of the campaign, I should actually get a ceasefire with either the dwarves or Ravanian. Because in the early game, it's kind of difficult to be fighting two wars at the same time. Especially with movement speed being so low, so it does take a while to get my units in any position. These Ma archers are very annoying. I would like to shoot them with my own archers, but I'm not sure how that will work out. But let's start with the rune bodyguard unit just going nuts. Fire away at them. Just deal as much damage as we can. They do quite nice damage, so... I don't care if they run out of ammo. Free kills, baby, free kills. And then they're going to be my charge cavalry, so they're always going to be useful. Basically. Mainly want to fire on the house cars, because I think they are mostly in evasion. Vision and arm. Parry and shield is zero because they don't have shield. Whilst these guys have six parry and shield and seven arms. That's, mm, I think they're actually on the same level then. But this unit is a little bit scarier, so please shoot them. Alright, it seems they've had enough of a beating already. At 8%. They're like, okay. Perhaps we shouldn't just stand for this. Perhaps we should fight back. Alright, archers, if you can, do return fire, please. On these guys specifically. Nice, they're dropping pretty fast. Alright, now archers, if you could fire on them. My cavalry can charge those guys real quick. Meantime, our units are getting in position. Javelins start flinging shit at them. They're gonna do awesome damage. Nice, 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 that's good. That's a good target. That is a very good target. Alright, both ends. And turn around and charge the Harjis Swordsman. The house guards will probably take a beating because of our javelins. They can just keep flinging on this right side here. They're gonna do wonderfully. I think are they aiming for that guy? No, please don't. Please fire on that guy. There we go. That turn around at the last moment. Alright, Vanguard! Oh yes, more throat singing, baby. Oh they just 
immediately started routing. Right, fight on them. Chavis, stop throwing. Yeah, that was a bad charge. Let's give him more room. Actually, that was all I needed to get them to rout. These guys are very weak to foot archers. Nice. Alright, minimal losses, baby. Very good. Now hunt them down, please. Nice. Hunt them down, baby. 86%. Eh, I could do a little bit more than that. Alright, that was a pretty smooth win, actually. Even their elites are just not much of a stand. I mean, uh, imagine their elites. They seem like elites. They just can't really stand against uh, both hand. The Great Lucan, as I like to call him. I know he's called Warlord or something here, but he's a Lucan in my heart. Alright, there we go. Let's end the battle. Boom, only 64 casualties. 9%. Sweet, sweet nectar. They haven't killed that many, we mostly just got them to rout very early on. So if he just sends in lone captain stacks, it's not that difficult to deal with. I'm just scared it'll start sending in good armies with generals, so we'll kind of have to see what happens. Alright, oh, that's actually a decent ransom value, but I'm not in the mood to fight these guys again and again and again. So please go die. Alright, let's move to Kamboska. Love to retrain some units here, but I don't think... Well, the culture is good. We just don't have the buildings to do it, I guess. Although we have a town watch. That's for Eastern Tribesmen. Do we have any Eastern Tribesmen? I thought I did. Eastern Archers. Yeah, Eastern Tribesmen. So why can't I retrain them? I mean, I could get a leather tanner and just give them all armor upgrades, but... Oh, I think we need to get... Yeah, we need to get the rune outpost. That's what we need. Right, 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 right. Okay. All right, reinforcements moving up north. Good. Let's hope we can take Roman soon. Oh, bother. Uh, maybe I should get an extra unit. I mean, I can get an extra unit of archers. I'd like to get a unit of wild shot lancers. That would be very, very useful. At each charge, that is actually quite impressive. But for now, I think that's the end of our turn. Diplomat, move this turn right. Ishapu. And I'll see you all back on turn number 13. Unlucky 13. Alright. So, right now, it seems to be rather peaceful on the Ravanian front. All quiet. Except for this guy, Arnken. Hmm. Well, we should probably try to intercept him. Because he's going to be a pain. He's going to try to dig for the guns. Tomb. Yeah, we'll have to move over an army. Because otherwise he can attack it without having to besiege it. So let's move in position. If he moves to Kamboska, that's actually less of a problem because we have an extra turn then. We need to get this upgraded ASAP. Which I'm trying to do, but it'll still take a fair bit. Let's lower the tactic just to improve it a little bit. Alright, more reinforcements inbound, but still... Oh, what? How? What is it with all these rebels, man? Peasant Axeman, 4 8. It's just annoying because I'll win this battle, I assume. But. I mean, that armor piercing. A little bit scary. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just auto resolve it. I mean. Wait, what? I already regret auto resolving it. Alright. You know what? Screw you, man. Let's do it manually then, with archers. I got this. I think. Oh, it's a bridge battle. Okay, nice. I mean, archers are. Um, what did I say archers? Rebels are definitely a lot more proactive than they were in. or are in Divide and Conquer. Like, a lot more proactive. But, like, this guy was, like, actively blocking this bridge whilst he wasn't before. He moved here just to screw. I have no idea where he came from. But, yeah, he's just being annoying for the sake of being annoying. Come on then, mate. Gather up your forces. It's skirmishing time! I'm a bit of an asshole. Fire? Oh god, why did it take so long for you to fire? I don't think I can outrun them, actually. But by god, I actually I can, because I'm marching, not running. I just need to fire m quicker, way quicker. That took so long. So I need to get like a really big advantage. Alright, come on. Fire, fire, fire. Why does it take so bloody long? I know you're not elves, but still. Alright, they're dropping. This is gonna work, actually. <sighs> and I'm pretty sure I could have won the previous battle. I don't know why the auto resolve just screwed me over. It's wildly unpredictable. So I guess it was my bad to rely on it. Lesson learned, I guess. 
Sorry, my voice is being very annoying. I'm actually drinking some tea with honey right now just to kind of suit the voice. But I have a lot of throat issues lately. Alright, they're just gonna stand there and take it. I guess they've just grown tired of walking over. They're like, do it, kill me! Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, this is super lame, man, but I mean... Why, why are you here, Rebels? Like, what's your deal? Are you siding with the dwarves? Is that it? Is that what you were trying to do? Oh no! Betray your heritage. The side with the dwarves. Can't stand for that. I mean, I think I could take him on in melee, but I just want to minimize my losses, basically. They're trying to cut me off. Why are you suddenly running? Go back to marching. Alright, I'm marching. Alright, just take it. Whatever. But I'd like if you'd still shoot. Nice. They should be pretty wounded. We'll lose a couple of units, but... Ah, oh, there we go. Kill them, get some XP. Maybe even get a man of the hour from this. Oh, that'd be awesome. Alright, so let's end the battle then. Let's see if we can get man of the hour. That'd be awesome. Heroic victory, so... Maybe. Aww, oh, no man of the hour, sadly. Alright, either way, that guy's taken care of. This guy didn't lose too many units, I guess, but... Those dwarves are becoming a real nuisance and they're getting dangerously close. Okay, he's moving south now. But that previous guy went south as well, so... Can't trust him, and who knows what's already lurking in our land. But we need to get this territory back, like, now. There's no time to waste. Alright, but a trade deal with Harad should bring in tons and tons of cash. Alright, uh, what settlements am I not building at? A couple. Kamboska? Hmm, can we immediately get the Khan Chieftain Camp? That would be very useful. Once the Chieftain Camp is developed into a Chieftain's Residence, it will provide heavy Khan infantry. Oh wait, I have to choose. Right, right, right. These guys already get me hired an Axeman. These guys don't. Probably because it's a town. Or a shot Trisman. I think I'd rather have the hired an Axeman for now. Heavy hired an Cavalry. Yes! Please! Oh god, please. And let's get some Eastern Tribesmen. I think right now I just want to spend everything on troops. Drives are not good, just need something to hold the line. If I can then get like one more cavalry unit to assist both hands, I can take down most of the armies of Ravanian. I think. I hope. Shrine of Sauron. Eh, I don't really need that. Uh, anything else I can build that's somewhat useful? Nothing really. So I'd rather save my money, I think. Hmm. Yeah, let's save some money. I'll see you all back on turn number 14. Alright, turn number 14, here we are. Let's get a couple more units in there. I just wish I could see how many casualties I've taken. Alright, I think in like two more turn, or like one more turn, the next turn that is, I'll have a decent enough garrison to feel confident attacking Roman head on. But I should probably build some more stuff. Yeah, Siege Tower should work well against this settlement. I don't think it has Ballista Tower, so should be fine. Where did that filthy dwarf go? There he is. Keeping an eye on you, man. I'm keeping tabs on you. Asshole. Alright, Captain Arnken is going for Frigan's Tomb. I guess he wants to reclaim the remains of his king, but we're not going to give him that armor. Oh, no, 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 no. What do you have? Freisweir? It's a javelin unit. Rigsweir, which is a axe unit. Okay. And then Harji's Spearman. So all in all, it doesn't seem like too scary of an army. I think we'll do rather well against this. So let's save the game and let's meet you again on the battlefield. Oh, it seems that the AI has decided to just move all the way to the back. I think they're scared of me. Where are they hiding? Ah, oh, they're up there. This is a pretty advantageous map to that. Armies, but we have Borthand, and Borthand is a living legend. He can solo that army, I'm pretty sure. So let's quickly go make work with them. They don't have archers, so we can't outrange them. Because this guy also has a mean range, man. He has really good range for a horse archer unit. Mostly want to take care of those, uh, not Freiswehr. Actually, light infantry. Okay, they're not counted as a skirmish unit. That's odd, because I think these guys are considered missile, yeah. I thought every unit that had a missile would be considered missile, but I guess that's not the case. Alright. 
How many have we already killed? 5%. I have a pretty big force at that. Alright. Oh, he's, oh, bloody hell. Okay. You should probably move back. I thought my aunt... Oh, never mind. I'm a bit of an idiot. So you move here, you move just forward, you take the right flank. Both and use up your ammo because you're going to be charging soon. The flies are getting ready to throw their jabbies, we can't have that. Oh, they're dropping like flies. Send forth the infantry. I should have had them a little bit closer already, that was my mistake. It doesn't seem they're getting too many javelins off just yet. They might get a couple off now though. Good, good, good. Keep firing, get rid of your last ammo. And then charge a the spearman. If we can get an early right on them, that'd be most excellent. I bath both end. <laughs> buddy. I'm gonna call you buddy. Come on, buddy. Vanguard. Hello there! Do you like my throat singing? I bet you do. Come on, right, 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 right. Yes! Route, everybody routes. Oh, morale is definitely a lot easier to deal with in this game. It seems that most units just overall have much slower morale. Because if we had to fight this, like, as a grind, we would take a lot more casualties than 7%. I can tell you that much. Very nice, though. Very nice. I'm very happy with that result. Both hand is getting it there in the golden XP ranks. 82%. Let's just quickly mop up this army and be close to 95 or something. Oh, yeah. Boom. There we go. Alright. There we go. Another army cleaned up. It's just the captain, so he doesn't have to die, but... Oh well. Exit the battle. Let those last 15 escape if they really want to. 96. 2 XP gain, so yeah, he's getting very close to gold tier. Very nice. Alright, that's actually, again, very high ransom value. So it does seem like we're turtling a little bit, but I just kind of need my force to be reinvigorated. And we're mopping up Ravanian armies, so... It's not necessarily a bad thing to be turtling a little bit. They are running out of steam. I don't see any more standing armies at the moment. And soon we'll be able to get some more forces. Ah, we already can to the front line. To both front lines. Lord knows we need it. And soon we'll take Roman as well. So we are making progress, even though it might not seem like it at first glance. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Torwinian would be a very nice price. And Old Donovan is a castle, so that would also be a very nice grab as well. Okay, so we do have a little bit of cash to spend. Mistrand. Let's get that port there, I think. Yeah, that's going to be useful. That's most of our money spent. Aini, Karis Quarters, eh. Not really necessary. Mataram. Can't really build anything there that's of use. So I guess all my other money I can spend on units. Baltrop Trizon are always welcome. Eastern Arches as well. Yeah, like that. And then Diplomat. Let us move you towards Harad. So right now our projected treasury total is 4.2k. Let's see what it's like when we get that trade agreement. He'll accept, right? You want an alliance as well, actually? I'm surprised we're not allies yet. Imagine if you would backstab me. Oh, crap. Right, just trade rights then. You really don't want an alliance. You can't scare me, man. What if I give you map information? I am not hmm, whatever. We'll get an alliance at some point. I don't think he'll attack me. So for 4.2, we now move up to 4.7, which is basically the money we get from the mission. 500 gold coins. So I don't think it accurately counts in trade, sadly. So there goes that. <laughs> that thought pattern. Get some extra conned infantry. They're good. But I think I mostly want to focus actually on horse archers at the moment. I just want more and more of them. Do I can I should probably have gotten the bolt shot estate then in that case. Well, either way, it doesn't matter that much at the moment. That's very spooky. Hey, hey, look at us! <laughs> That's such a cute picture. Quite like that beard, to be honest. I wish I could grow something like that, but sadly, it's not even close. All right, I'll see you all back on turn number fifteen then. Alright, so the council wants me to throw some units in Frigan's tomb. I mean, I could place them there for like one turn. What's my reward? 500 gold coins? I could try to push on Ordigard. But then I'd leave my front line a little bit undefended. 
This army could take Autogard relatively easily. I'm just worried if he sends out reinforcements from... Actually, he doesn't have that many units. Yeah, man, I don't think I need to stay behind too long. I think we need to be aggressive against Ravanian. They probably don't have that many settlements either. Alright, that dwarf is just chilling. Oh, going for Sazonic. Along with this guy. That's going to be a pain. I mean, at least this guy can only walk through, like, here. And then they can only cross here, so we will be able to keep a good eye on them. It's not like they can sneak in through the north there. Romans three more turns, so I think I'll just siege them out. And then I'll have a pretty healthy army here, in case these guys get feisty. Now, I'd like to take Sazonic. But that will still take a little bit. But this guy won't reach us in three turns, so we'll be able to just siege out Roman. So that will be fine. Okay, good. That's at least a, a small relief. Kambosky got the Hydran Chieftain's Camp, so that will enable us to not get anything. What? Do we need like a different... Oh, we need... Oh, culture. We're at 64, we need 66. So we'll have it next turn. That's annoying. <laughs> That's very annoying. Alright, uh, let's get the... Caravan stop, I think. Uh, let's actually get the Green Exchange, it's quite a bit cheaper. Um, Frigant's Tomb, no, okay, we don't want to move to that, we want to move over both hands. Extra units will be sent to the front lines, we don't need them in our, our core regions. Send them to the front lines, which is now Roman. I know they get free upkeep there, but it does not matter. We need them in fighting shape. Eastern Arches, yes. Any other buildings that I'm not currently doing anything at? Garda, might as well get the caravan stop there to get that trade with Harad flowing in. Or maybe... Instead, gonna get can't a slave market. Some income plus two hundred. Straight up plus two hundred. This building has a one percent conversion to the other's culture, not displayed, which will reduce the rate of conversion to followers of Sauron. We have a shrine of Sauron, don't we? No, we actually don't. So, I'd first need to build a shrine of Sauron, then, so we can kind of negate the effect. Because a plus two hundred straight up is really good. That is a lot of money. So let's get the Shrine of Sauron then first. Then Agada, let's get the... Burp, burp, burp. Can we get a slave market here as well? No, it seems to be only at specific locations. Let's get some stables there, although Gardar is pretty far away from the front line. But horses move quickly, so there is that. Alright, that card inventory is not yet yet, but let's send over those spearmen. If Farad decides to attack me from the south, I'm screwed either way. It doesn't really matter what I do. I'll just leave my diplomat here. There's no other faction I need to talk to at the moment. Um, could send over some extra reinforcements, or just yeah, I'm just gonna keep him there for now. This army's more than strong enough. All right, we're just blazing past our turns at the moment, but I will be sure to see you all back on turn number sixteen. Okay, here we are. This army actually blocked Captain Isha from moving, so I'm quickly just—I know it's cheating, but I just can't find the console command to get rid of him. But I can't actually fight the battle, so. Uh, and I could, I guess, do it through auto-resolves, but we all know how stupid auto-resolves are. Oh, hello there, a heroic victory. And he's gone, okay, good, he's gone. We don't have to deal with him anymore, crashing my game. I wish I could show you the spiders, I have no idea what they look like. But sadly, there's just something with spiders and controls in this game that makes him crash. I remember back in 3rd Age Total War, the vanilla game, I often had a crash with throwing axes, for some reason. You always have like one thing that, for some reason, just keeps crashing people's games. And it doesn't maybe crash it for other people, but throwing axes in my case was my uh, my computer's kryptonite. Right, this army has moved out. That's just Atana Raik of Uldenoven. What unit does he have? Raikista knights, okay. Yeah, those knights are really, really good. But uh, if it's just the knights, we don't have too much to worry about. Alright, Roman, two more turns. Sazonic looks very empty all of a sudden. What's going on? There's evil the cunning. It seems like all these sneaky rebels are all cunning. Does that mean they're making a move? Okay, the dwarves seem to be going for Sazonic. But where's that Ravanian army then? Are they moving over? Oh, they can't reach me in one more turn, right? If they do, we should be able to beat them. This army is strong now. Even has some card infantry. 201, that's actually a pretty big unit. Uh, Eastern Archers send you to this front line. Send you over. Anything else? 
no. Okay, any buildings then? No, neither that. Oh, uh, let's see, Mataram. Again, nothing. Okay, why do I keep checking? I'm always like rubbing my hands thinking, oh, we can build something like Mataram, and it's like, nope. Should be able to get these axes now, right? No? 64 still. Why are we not at 66? Oh, we're just not gaining anything. Oh, okay. So I should get the Shrine of Sauron then. Oh, might as well already queue it up. Okay, Arty Guard, yeah. Perhaps I'll run in there. Well, we first need rams. It's a large town, so we will have towers and walls. So maybe... Can I get a ladder in there? Oh, we'll take an extra turn. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to do, so I'll see you all back at turn number 17. Alright, here we are, making progress. Oh, to God, what? I just want to know what you have. I mean, I can be like, oh, I'm going to attack you, and then just check. Vidasith, okay. So we have Vidasith with the unit of Rakistanites, so they're about as useful as my cavalry in the settlement, so kind of negates it. And then Water Spearmen are actually pretty damn poopy. Hmm. And again, our infantry is severely lacking. How long would the siege be? Six turns. I think I want to wait till I have some ladders. If I have ladders, I would feel a lot more secure in taking it. Is there sending over any armies that I need to be aware of? Not that I can see. Okay, good. Let's get over these reinforcements then. Get that Shrine of Sauron in there quickly. Where did that Ravanian army go? They really scare me by just disappearing like that. Oh, bother, there's a Dwarven army here. Yeah, they will no doubt attack me. Alright, if you get close enough, you should be able to check how many units are in that unit, so... Uh, I guess I'll just have to attack him. It's a little bit cheesy, just to check. 30, 22, and 57. That's just the 57 that scares me. Is this a castle or a city? It's a town, okay. I don't think it'll be too difficult to take that settlement, even with my units. And then I'll have a much better chance against Nide. So I think the time has come to besiege Roman and recapture it. Alright, let's save the game, and that's probably the last battle of today's episode. Let's jump in. Alright, let's do this. I could have probably spread out my units a little bit more, but to be honest, those towers are not going to make a huge difference. Uh, so mostly just want to get units on the field, or on the walls, as quickly as possible. Are we actually retreating to the town square? I wouldn't mind that one bit. So I mainly want to use the card infantry to attack the Dwarven Nobleman, seeing as they're armor-piercing. Okay, they're actually retreating, except for these archers. Oh no, light infantry, excuse me. Javelin light infantry. They're fighting the car. Okay, they'll be taken down relatively easily. And then, I kind of want to put my own archers on the walls then, in that case. I wish you could use towers against the defenders. I mean, it would be pretty bad design, I suppose, but... Uh, he's going over to this side, because he feels like he can win better against these Centrizen, which is probably true. I'm going to put my own archers on the walls and they'll be able to do good damage. Get in there. Hold. Get in there, come on. Why is it taking so long? We're losing so many men. Why is it taking so long? Get on the wall, come on. I feel like my commands are always clear, but... I told you to attack. Move. Why are, they, why are they moving, like, all the way over there? Right. He wants to send in his archers like that, be my guest. He tries and will easily crush them. Let's send over one cavalry unit as well. Alright, archers, get on the walls. Get on the walls. Come on, what's taking you so damn long? Why are you just kind of... What the hell's going on here? I have so many questions. <laughs> Alright, it seems I won't be able to fire on the nobleman, sadly. Uh, so what I'll do is move my cavalry on the right side. Not the wrong side, but the right side. Oh, <laughs> so funny. Move them here. And then just send in the men, I suppose. Alright, cavalry is doing another attempt. Hello there. You are dead. Thanks for playing. That nice rune horn, though. Alright, they're dead. So we we'll use the tribesmen to kind of form the front, then attack on the side with the Khan infantry. 
and then use the cavalry to smack him in the rear. I can't really charge here, that's the problem. Sometimes you get like a, a medium charge off. Carl Infantry should have a good time against them mostly. I mean they're not as tanky but they are armor piercing so in terms of damage they'll do well. Oh, they're actually crushing us. Perhaps I should have used my archers first. Oh my god, my Khan infantry is getting destroyed. Just keep doing small charges, I guess. They're getting wounded, they're dying. We got this. Finally, our homeland reclaimed. My god, that took way too long. Hopefully, can I start pushing on that side as well a little bit? Pick up the aggression. Um, it's just a general, isn't it? The man himself. Man, that guy has been a real nuisance. Jamar, finally you die. It cost us a little bit, 17%, but yeah, so be it. Alright, there we go. Roman is now ours. Boom. Um, we need to occupy it only because it's still our culture, right? Yeah. Let's see, if the dwarves build anything for us. No, it didn't even build anything. Oh, you bloody dwarves. Couldn't you build like some mines or something? No, you just had to be selfish. Uh, we'll see what Nain does. Ah, oh, we now have control over our watchtowers again as well. That's also very useful. So first things first, we'll take care of Captain Nain. Maybe he'll move back, we'll see. And then try to take this rubble town here. We can just defend that then. Uh, Captain Mudkip, you can come over. But be careful of Nain. Move like just south of him. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Still waiting for the ladders there. We have some money to spend, so I guess I can do that real quick. Kambuska, already going to try to Sauron. Khan, trying to Sauron. We can get the slave market there, yes. Let's get some more Khan infantry, why not? Any other units I need to move over? Yes, you. Okay, nice. Alright, I thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 as much as you did episode 1. And I do hope to catch you all soon for episode number 3. Bye-bye.